Hi folks, Craig Siriani, Craig Siriani Vocal Studios. Thanks for coming back. This is video number eight. This video is going to be a short video on my interpretation of how to cover, okay, which is a very, very important uh, tool that we use in opera singing. Um, it's also very controversial. You'll get a different, like everything else in opera, you'll get a different opinion from every different teacher that you talk to. And the reason for the video today is to show you, once again, how Lamonico technique puts a lot of these problems to bed right out of the, right out of the gate. Let me explain. What does covering mean? Okay, covering means that as, as singers, opera singers, we are required to make the biggest, fullest, roundest, loudest sound acoustically, anyway, out there. I mean, there's, you know, 90 plus pieces of orchestra and you, you know, you need to be heard. Chest voice, middle voice, you know, is very loud, very trumpety, but we get up to a certain point and you've got to switch registration in order to attain the higher notes. And covering means that the sound goes from chest voice, the resonance slides back slightly, becomes more pharyngeal. Okay, now I'm not going to give you the whole uh, surgical uh, approach to this. If you want to know all about that, you can read Douglas Stanley's book. It's in there. But the main reason I'm, I'm bringing this up today is because most of the students come to me with two concerns. The first one is usually, every time I sing, my throat hurts and I can't get past F sharp. Okay, but the second complaint is always the same thing like, I don't know how to cover. What is covering? I don't even know how to cover. Or, or my cover is not right, or I can't cover this note correctly. And I'm here to tell you that with Lamonico technique, the idea is, Yes, all of the investment is up front. Yes, these positions are difficult to learn. They require some practice. They require a lot of attention. But once you learn them and they become habit, the idea is in the Lomonaco technique, you don't have to do anything to cover. You're already set up. Let me say that again. You don't have to do anything to cover. You're already there. There is nothing that you have to do Okay, you're already in the right position. Um, with other vocal techniques out there, honestly, I really don't know what the answer is for covering because if their jaw and their tongue is all over the place, then not only are they going to have to try and figure out this cover for every single note they're singing, but they're going to be doing it the rest of their career. Imagine not being, not being Imagine having to not have to do that. Okay, it's a wonderful feeling. Okay, let me let me demonstrate. So if it's an on vowel, for on all vowel, for example, if I set, and then you saw this before in the earlier videos, I set my jaw the right way, my tongue the right way, my teeth the right way. Watch me cover this note and not move anything. Watch this. <clears throat> So I froze, and I know I didn't move anything because I'm looking right in a mirror while I'm doing this. That's what Lamonico is all about. It's about moving nothing. In fact, Tom said that to me in every lesson. He'd say, okay, lad, let's try this exercise. Now, move nothing. In other words, if the voice is already working, why would you move? Why would you shift positions? Why would you change? That's a, that is not working an efficient engine. Okay, and again, that's the beautiful part of Lamonico. You don't have to move anything. I'll show you an E vowel. It works the same way. And you know the E position from the previous video. Okay, E is with teeth out, uh, lips flared, back of the tongue up against the upper molars, and again, I'm not going to move anything. Watch. E yes, I showed my teeth. I always show my teeth. I've never not shown my teeth. But I didn't move a thing. Nothing moves. Covering couldn't be any easier if you don't have to do anything. But for the, for the guys out there that are struggling, you might want to consider a technique where you don't have to keep moving everything or shifting everything around all the time. Now, I don't sing full time anymore, but I sing more in the studio now than I ever did on stage, and I do this all day long. And it still works. I don't know how... 35 years later, 40 years later, I don't know, I'd have to go figure it out. 
Pavarotti told me when we had a chance to work together, he said that it took him, his exact words were, it took me about 10 years to, and he used the word elegantly, cover the voice. To me, that meant covering in a way that didn't sound like you were obviously covering. Okay? Um, when you hear Giacomini cover an F, for example, okay, he's not out there messing around going, Recondital, you know, scooping or trying to be all musical or whatever. He understood that the first cover of F is the hardest one. So there's no, there's no messing around. So when you hear Giacomini sing Recondita Armonia, you don't get a sense that he's struggling at all. Remember, there's 90 pieces of orchestra plus out there. So, again, this works every time. This is the, one of the greatest gifts Tom ever gave me, was not only a 25-year-plus career on stage all over the world, but the ability to not have stage fright anymore. Because when you have stage... I had the worst stage fright ever, because I never knew what was going to come out. Okay, and if you don't understand how the technique works, then every night feels like a crapshoot. Why wouldn't you be horrified? I certainly would be. But why would you move any positioning if you've got to sing some, pick something more difficult? Stay in the same position. to move any positioning at all while I'm doing all these things. I'm looking in the mirror. I'm making sure that this position, I, you know, sure you have to make words, okay? You've got to sort of pronounce, although pronunciation in my book always takes second seat to sound. Sound is always number one. But anyway, I wanted to make this video to show everybody that one more facet that pointed me toward La Monaco as the, as the technique of choice because it, it absolves the worry of when do I cover, how do I cover, and should I cover. It's already set. All you've got to do is maintain the position. That's, how the, that's the beauty of the technique. Um, went over stage fright. So the idea is that this gives you, again, by knowing what's going to physically happen, you get dependability, repeatability, Probably one of the best compliments I ever got as a singer out there working was, you know, you're the most consistent tenor that we ever had here because you sound exactly the same every single night. Thank you, Tom LaMonaco. That's why it sounds the same. And it still sounds the same. I don't sing full time anymore, but when I do, it still sounds the same. That's the LaMonaco method. This was a short video on how to cover. Obviously, there's way more involved. You have to understand how to, how to breathe, how to support, uh, how fast to spin the vibrato. These are all parts of, of the equation, the recipe. But as far as the actual positioning and covering, it not only is it simple, I don't even think about it. Because if you have the right technique, you don't have to. This is why the university slash hack teacher technique with the tongue on the bottom of the mouth forward all the time, this is why... The guys who call me have pain in their throat, can't get past an F sharp, and cannot cover. Because you can't cover correctly if your tongue is all over the place in a different position for every note that you're singing. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. Um, thank you for watching, and uh, more to come soon. Take care.